Hello, hopefully you watched the series. Um, this is part one of the tutorials. The first video kind of explains, and this is like if you have a court case, someone's suing you or wants you to go to court and you don't want to go and you don't want you just want the case dismissed. There's some documents that you can file and get and just file it into the case with your county clerk to get the case dismissed. This is a method that is being shared, so I'm sharing it with you. And here we go. This is the first document that you need, assumed name tutorial. Um, there's a few other documents, live life claim, um, FTC, and another one you can do is power of attorney over the straw man name or the all caps name. So anyway, here's the first part. To get the assumed name, they recommend going to Minnesota Secretary of State. Here's what it looks like, and then you'll go to register a business. You're registering your all caps name because that is a business entity. That's why you have it on all your bills. It's not, they don't put the upper and lower case usually because that's the living person. In order for you to do business with these corporations and the courts, you have, they give you the all caps name. This is saying they're assuming you are the debtor, that all caps name, which you are not. So this is saying you're not and you're getting it from the Secretary of State, so it's a legal document. So this is what you're gonna use. So next, you go to register a business, then you go to step one, which it says create an online account. Click that. Then you go here, you put in your email address and a password, and then they're gonna send you an email and you need to click on it to verify the link. Next, you enter your delivery details. In the company area, you put your all caps name. In the name area, you just put it lowercase. And you put the address they want you to send it to, and that's it. Next, you go to the business filings, and that's up here on the menu. Click on that, and then you go down here to assumed name. Click on that. Here, once you get there, once you click on assume name, you're going to see if the business name, which is your all caps name, is available. Hopefully it's available. If not, you can try going to other states where they do assume name and try filing it there. Next, you're going to go to add, let me see, now after you get it, it'll say click on assume name. Here it's $50 and then you're going to add these name holders. You're going to add your name different ways. This one, they have your upper and lower case name, and then in the address, you put care of before the address. The city you put, the state, try to spell that all out because that's saying that you are talking about the United States of America, a country. That's one thing that we are. And then there's the other thing. That's the du jour. The, what happened is they created a corporation in order to do all this corporate business. And if you put it NY, then that's the corporation. If you put the whole name, that's the country. So that's why they say do that. Zips, um, all zeros, because that's it. They're in, in their jurisdiction. So you put the, all zeros. Then you hit save name holder to add more versions of your name. Add another name holder. This one, they're putting the last name first, then the middle and the first name. Then care of in the address. The city, the state is spelled out. And then zeros for all zips. Um, all zeros for the zip. Um, if you're doing it for a child, you can put the child's all cap name in the beginning and then you can put yourself as one of the name holders. If for some reason, if they're a minor and they got into some trouble and you need to help them out. So this is add more name holders. So you're gonna add different versions of your name. This is adding the beneficiary name. So it's the first name with the dash, the middle name, and then a colon. And then the last name and then some in some states they call it statutory agent 
so this is why this was put there. Um, that might be the case in your state or not. You, you will have to investigate. The address is the care of first, and then the address, the city, the state you spell out. I didn't put that here, but I have it here on the side, on the left side here, the instructions right here. Um, in some states, they use statutory agent, or you can use authorized representative. Okay, this will come later. Um, next is, this is a, if you don't know about the statutory agent, you can just put authorized representative. So you put the first, middle, first dash, middle, and then the colon, last name, and then comma, authorized representative. You see up here how it's done? Sorry. Uh, okay. And then the address, they put the care of, and then the address, and then the city, spell out the, the state, and then all zeros. So once you're done putting all the names, you go to next here. Then you're going to go to a part where it says that this is where the delivery and the mail address, where you're going to get stuff delivered to you if they need to. So you can put in care of, you don't have to put the street numbers, you can just put the, the street name if you want, or you can put the, either way you can do it. That's one way that it was done, that we showed, and then the state, and then you should probably spell this out, and then all zips, I mean all zeros, sorry. So this is kind of what it'll look like for the mailing address, try to use the same one. So if you're, if you're using the same one, you can just skip that and you can skip attachment because I don't have anything I need to put in there. But if you do for some reason, that's where you would put it. Then there'll be another screen where it'll say add your name and phone and email. And then there'll be another one, client reference. That's if you're, you're doing a client. I don't, so you probably won't have that, so you can skip. So that's what you do there. Then at the end of the year, they will send you a, uh, an email to renew it for free every year. If you miss it, you'll have to pay and do it again. Then you'll go to the business snapshot. You can leave that blank, and then you hit submit. Once you hit submit, it'll tell you about your signature. I recommend putting the type of signature again which is the beneficiary signature with the authorized representative or if you want to put the statutory behind it like I showed you it depends on your state but if you don't know just put authorized representative then there's two options to pay you can register with there it's with US Bank if you want um, I, I'm gonna do pay without registering so you'll see the fee there the $50 fee then here, once you pay, you're going to get the documents in your email right away. You want to print those. You want to save them online. You want to have them saved a few places just in case. You do get that court case. You'll have it, and you can just go file it into the court case to let them know that the security, the uh, Secretary of State has said that you are not this assumed name. You can also put a cover letter if you wanted to. To, let, to explain what you're trying to say. That is not you, that is the debtor, okay? That was the debtor name that was given to you. You are a person, okay? That's why they do, they also submit the live life claim. So after you get these documents, it's gonna tell you, you get the document, the assumed name document from the Secretary of State, the official document, it's gonna give you instructions and you're gonna to have to publish it in a legal newspaper. It'll tell you several weeks in a row. You have to do this to make it a legal notice for it to work. They will send you the instructions. There's a few different ways, so you read it and you do it a few different ways, which you pick one and you do the one that you want. You do have to pay for that, um, so you can just look online or look around to see where's the best place to file a legal notice. Once you've done that, you have that. You can go record it in the county clerks to have it on the books, or you can just use it during your court cases. Another thing they do recommend, 
So this is done after you've done the publishing, you do it, or you can just do it for a court case. This is to say you're not the all caps name, you're not this assumed name, this is to get the case dismissed. You wouldn't need to go to court, you would just need to file the paperwork in, in the, the court case. So you go down there saying you're filing this for this court case. And some people can give you trouble. They might say notarize this or do something else. There are other ways where you can call. You can have it faxed if for some reason, or you can even mail it in if you have time. This was shared by Felicia Beverly. This is to help people with court cases um, that they have to defend themselves. This is a message message that they were using if you're interested. Some people have messaged me, well actually quite a few people have messaged me asking me for advice. So when I found out this about this, I wanted to share it. So I'm going to create the series of all the tutorials and things you would need to do. So when you do have the court case, you can just go file it and that's your answer to the court case. You don't even actually have to show up to the court case. So this is to get it dismissed. Okay, hopefully um, you enjoyed this. Have a good day. Bye.